Это вот один из наших платков. Here's one of our scarves named Kazhibek. It features a depiction of a Kazakh woman, and upon closer look, you will see a diverse array of elements. The design doesn't strictly adhere to traditional Kazakh ornaments. Its aesthetic draws inspiration from Gaudi's architecture. Another scarf in our collection is called Tumar. In the center you will find decorative elements resembling Tumars and this scarf is imbued with symbolism, signifying its ability to attract positive energy as a protective talisman. Additionally, we have smaller neck scarves. Like this monochromatic collector's piece emitting a serene vibe with a floral theme and highly stylized patterns. Lastly, there's a Saukile scarf, where the corners portray the traditional headgear of Kazakh girls, known as Saukile. These national patterns reproduced in contemporary interpretation are familiar to almost every Kazakh. They have also become our hallmark internationally. Delicate and exquisite ornaments form the foundation of all the creations by the two talented sisters, Asel and Indira Adil. Woven into beautiful patterns, the prints serve as a bridge between the past and the present, highlighting the beauty of cultural heritage and bringing a fresh perspective to the aesthetics of Kazakh fashion. These products are now a part of our everyday life, at home, as gifts, as prizes, and at traditional national events. Personally, it delights me to see a Kazakh product, rooted in our culture with ornamental elements and an author's touch, becoming a regular, everyday choice for people in Kazakhstan. Personally, I have a soft spot for Korpe Kazakh mattresses. The brand has always been on my radar, particularly through their scarves, each boasting exclusive prints. Moreover, I have a fondness for home textiles like blankets, bedspreads and pillows. The sisters shared that they pioneered the production of printed textiles in Kazakhstan without any formal education in the field. They learned on the go, conducted numerous experiments, and faced mistakes. However, they remained committed to their venture, established in 2010, transforming it into one of the most recognizable and beloved brands in Kazakhstan. Starting with a team of five, they now employ 60 individuals, excluding the administrative and creative teams. The brand's journey began with scarves, expanded into home textiles, and more recently ventured into women's clothing. This story unfolds as a captivating adventure, marked by passion and determination, originating during one of the sisters' studies abroad. While I was studying abroad, people often asked, are you from Japan, China or Korea? It was confusing. I dressed and looked somewhat European, yet there was a hint of an Asian touch. There was nothing I could show and say, I'm from Kazakhstan, and look, this is Kazakh. This is when the idea was born. I desired to carry a piece of our culture while abroad. Patriotic feelings are particularly strong when you are overseas. Unfortunately, 13 years ago, clothing or accessories with national ornamentation weren't in vogue. So that's how we set this in motion. In her quest to bring beautiful fabric patterns to life, Asiel pursued studies in graphic design, 
For the initial five years of the company, she personally crafted the prints. Now, under her guidance, a versatile team of designers collaborates on various product profiles. However, mastering design skills was not as challenging as navigating the technical intricates of digital fabric printing. This task was especially complex given that the primary goal from the outset was to create fabrics that were not only vibrant, but also natural and hypoallergenic. When we were setting up the production, the first challenge was to find suitable equipment within the budget. Considering that neither I nor Indira had experience in the textile industry and lacked education in this field, choosing the right equipment proved to be a difficult task. Moreover, there were no specialists with the necessary skills in Kazakhstan to consult with, so we had to rely on our own self-learning and research. This was the first challenging stage. The second stage involved finding specialists which we also did not have. We had to train our employees from scratch, requiring effort, time, and of course continuous self-education. It is often said that the key to a successful business lies in the spirit and motivation behind it. The venture has evolved into a well-oiled machine, boasting a complete production cycle. It all begins with a thorough examination of seasonal trends, the creation of mood boards, and the definition of the collection's theme. The subsequent steps involve bringing this vision to life on the fabric, ensuring a seamless and comprehensive production process. These are our traditional Kazakh mattresses, the korpishe. We usually spread them out on the floor, we decided, guided by our own vision, to alter their presentation a bit by introducing a detachable cover. Why did we make this decision? Well, because in most homes, there are kids running around. We didn't want these mattresses to be kept only for special occasions. We wanted them to be a part of everyday life. If something spills or gets messy, you can wash the top part separately. Everything is eco-friendly. We opted for a more modern material, moving away from the traditional wool. This material is not only eco-friendly, but hypoallergenic, making it perfect for any use. And since it's all cotton, it feels incredibly comfy. The new take on the traditional Kazakh korpia with its added functionality has swiftly won the hearts of customers. However, to achieve the ultimate blend of comfort and naturalness, the fabric undergoes six meticulous stages of processing before reaching the cutting and sewing phase. Here is the printing process in action. After preparing the fabric, dye is applied to the white canvas, followed by several stages of washing and fabric fixation. This is done to ensure that the fabric's print remains durable and doesn't run during washing, which is crucial. Currently, our bestseller collection named Alton Dan, Golden Grain, is in the printing process. Typically, when we release a collection, we offer a minimum of three color variations. And this one here is a particularly popular choice. This is the final processing stage where the designs and prints are secured to ensure that the ink doesn't wash or blur during use. It is a crucial step to fix the prints on the fabric. Following this is the drying process, concluding the stage after which the fabric will move to the cutting department for the next stage of production.
Instead of sourcing materials from the textile market, the rolls of fabric are sent directly from this workshop to the cutting department. Currently, they are cutting out pieces for the new collection, so we have the opportunity to catch a glimpse of what the brand is planning to delight with next. The fabrics are transported from the cutting department and here we proceed with sewing the finished products. Ideally, there is one employee per machine and since we operate in shifts, we adjust accordingly. When we started, we had only five machines and worked in a small corner. Then of course we expanded, adding specialized equipment for processing collars, buttons and various parts of the garments. As we ventured into clothing production, which involves intricate sewing, we incorporated different types of equipment. After ironing, the final preparatory tasks are completed. Labels are attached and everything is packaged before being sent to the stores. For example, this is our new collection named Kistia Sweatshirts, where we started incorporating embroidery. This is a batch that has been sewn and it will now undergo quality checks before moving on to packaging. Here is a trial design, Jolbaris, a test version. Initially, we experiment with different options. Ksenia selects specific stitches such as these, trying various patterns. It is a meticulous process down to the millimeter. We experiment, try different methods until we find the perfect option. The equipment allows for versatility and the choice of stitching is crucial. Here one type of stitch mimics hand embroidery, while another gives a different appearance. Corpias, pillows, blankets, tablecloths and table napkins, each product here tells a story not only through beautiful national prints, but also about family values, traditions and the renowned Kazakh hospitality. These items are crafted to bring families together around a table or to welcome guests on soft korpia. Even the traditional carpet, once hung on the walls of nearly every home, has found its expression on the brand's collections today. This is our new experimental direction, a collection called Kistia, currently in the production process. Why did we decide to pursue this idea? It originated from Estelle's memories. She often reminisces, saying, I remember a carpet, Kistia, that used to hang near the bed, embroidered by our grandmother's hands. These memories hold a special warmth for us. Prompting us to incorporate this concept into our products as it represents a part of our art and tradition. The selected designs closely resemble those found on the traditional carpets. While there are various designs available in the store, this particular one specifically imitates the hand embroidery seen on these carpets. I recalled my grandmother's wooden chest and the moments when she would sit on the sofa. In the backdrop, her self-embroidered black wall carpet, Kistia, always caught the eye. This traditional piece, reminiscent of my childhood, is often embraced by modern designers. Grandmother's beds were adorned with numerous items and utensils, all personally embroidered by her. Inspired by these memories, I felt the urge to breathe new life into them. Thus, the idea for a collection featuring embroidery was born. The brand's collections embody the warmth of cherished memories translated into tangible products. The sisters consistently explore innovative avenues to rejuvenate timeless traditions. A recent addition to the brand's product range is their exclusive tea line. Whether it is a soothing, comforting blend or one playfully named for conversations, each tea variety evokes and enriches the delightful Kazakh tea drinking tradition. This is above all a family affair. 
In every creation there is always a nuanced approach, a love for the national code, the local people and family values. Recently I just discovered that the brand has expanded into clothing production. The only nuance is that there is no men's line, but I'm confident it will come into existence. After all, where there is a family, there are all members of the family. There are the traditions we've preserved, the cultural richness we've amassed. Our history is vast and profound. We've chosen to present it with a contemporary twist. In Kazakh culture, it is customary to celebrate events such as a child's birth, first steps, engagements or weddings. Our products grace these occasions. When customers choose and present them as gifts, it holds special significance. In our culture, offering guests the most beautiful things is a tradition, and when our products are presented as gifts, it becomes particularly meaningful for us. Preserving our national traditions and bringing them to life in a modern context, designers enthusiastically welcome innovations in production. They see potential for growth by incorporating artificial intelligence. Currently, we don't incorporate artificial intelligence into our creative process. We have tried it, but the results didn't meet our satisfaction. I believe that in the future, designers will to some extent embrace the use of artificial intelligence. It presents a promising opportunity to craft innovative creations. It is a simple yet stylish method to wear the scarf. Just fold the scarf into a triangle and tie the corners at the back without pulling too tight. This way the scarf will elegantly drape in the front. Another option is to fold the scarf into a ribbon by folding it from the edge to the center. Creating a neat ribbon. Put it on, twist and tie it at the back. Creating something captivating that encapsulates family traditions underscores the importance of women and pays tribute to the strength and resilience of femininity forms the core of the brand. The two sisters built a substantial technological process from scratch in their homeland, establishing a formidable brand. As part of their mission, they see themselves supporting women who, like them, embody a delicate yet robust strength. <laughs> In our production, a significant number of women are employed. Women, being a more vulnerable part of the population, are provided with favorable conditions. This involves creating suitable working conditions, a comfortable environment, and an appropriate work schedule. We are actively working towards implementing these measures because we have a vested interest in the well-being of our women. They play a crucial role in the continuity of the lineage and ensuring the creation of suitable conditions for their health reflects our social responsibility.
in the coming years, we might witness the brand delighting customers with truly unexpected innovations. These women, driven by an insatiable spirit of experimentation, seem to never run out of creative surprises. As of now, the brand's products grace the shelves of stores in Astana, Almaty, and Shimken. However, it wouldn't be a surprise if their presence extends to other regions of Kazakhstan, allowing everyone across the country to craft distinctive moments with loved ones through the unique offerings of this brand.